More Central Georgians are receiving letters from Navicent Health which say their personal information may have been compromised in a cyber attack. We reported back in March, Navicent Health released letters to patients saying their personal information, including medical records and bank accounts, may have been breached. Now they're notifying more patients. Epicosaurus talked to one mom who's concerned her children's information could be used against them. Mary McElroy says this week she received three letters from Navicent Health, one addressed to her. May have included your child's name, date of birth, banking account, and or medical information. The other two for her six-year-old daughter and 11-year-old son. So we should be able to trust them not to give out information. Navicent Health started sending out letters in March, alerting people that their medical information, date of birth, and bank account may have been compromised during a cyber attack using employee emails. McElroy wasn't notified until last week. And those letters come from a recent mailing. Check out this date, June 14th. Megan Allen, spokesperson for Navicent Health, says that this is still from that same hack that happened last summer. She says they're still sending out letters to notify people. McElroy says they have to take their daughter, who has epilepsy, to the medical center for her seizures almost monthly. You don't think about it. All you think about is getting her well, getting the seizures to stop. You don't think about stuff leaking out. You don't. McElroy says for the largest hospital in central Georgia, they need to focus on security of their patients who rely on them for care. I would expect them to be more responsible, a lot more responsible. She filed a credit report for her kids and says she's waiting to hear more about that before investigating whether she can take legal action against the hospital. Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Allen said Navicent knew in March that the data from patients like the McElroys have been compromised, but she would not comment on why they're being notified now. Allen says they may be sending out more letters to more patients, and Navicent recommends anyone who receives a letter should request a credit report or freeze their credit.